So I know that I said that I would do a uh, build from the, one of the Christmas gifts in my Christmas gifts video uh, next, but then I stumbled across a uh, documentary about the um, Israeli Air Force when they was trying to build it up and how they smuggled and bought airplanes from around the world. And the story that, that caught my interest was uh, the four B-17s uh, transported from America uh, to Israel via the bombing of, um, was it Cairo? I think so, yeah. Anywho, so of course I had to buy a new kit because that's what you do when you don't want to do the old stuff. So I got this one. Because I'm going to build uh, one of those four B-17s that uh, ended up, I think, uh, three because the FBI caught up with one of them um, and seized it. Uh, I will uh, post a link for this documentary because it's pretty interesting uh, and um, yeah, stuff I didn't know about. So I always like to find out new stuff. <laughs> Uh, and uh, what I'm gonna build is, uh, I'll show you pictures of that as well. Uh, what I'm trying, what I'm trying to build, because I haven't found any decals for it, so the masking and painting of the tail section and stuff might be a challenge. Uh, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So in order to remove the gun turrets, I need to flatten the surface beneath the turrets. So I'm just going to try to close off the holes with some plastic card and then fill them afterwards. Uh, I just want to try to dry fit these to see how the size works and what kind of interference I have with the other parts. Um, I don't think that one's going to be a problem. Not the top one either, but that's, this one I think might be the uh, it might have some kind of interference with the the floor from the uh, navigator I just have to try to try to fit it somehow so I can test fit the uh, the actual floor
pretty much just the figures or not the figures the, the, the numbers on the side here uh, it should say 1602 I need to make masks and some more uh, I can't find any decals that are blue uh, so that is the next thing to 
Uh, we'll have to, I have to make some kind of uh, template, I guess, to paint it because, yeah, the black numbers are not correct. Uh, kind of difficult to find. <coughs> Excuse me. Good reference photos. This is a trip interpretation. I've seen. <coughs> oh, sorry. I've seen different versions of the same aircraft. I'm not 100% sure uh, what um, what period of time uh, the, these different pictures were taken. Um, the variations are the armament and the uh, the windows. Um, and also the the coloring of the uh, camouflage. Uh, so this is my interpretation of it. I think that this is as good as I can get it. Uh, this was by no means a, a great um, model. It's the it's the Ravel one. Uh, I was going back and forth on. Uh, if, I was to try the Airfix one or the Revell one. Uh, the hobby shop only had the Revell one in, so that's the one that I got. But not a great build, not a great model. Uh, you have to you have to um, alter the uh, landing gear because you can't build it with the landing gears folded up. So you have to modify them uh, pretty much. And the Bombay doors. Uh, didn't fit exactly perfect as well. I think maybe they are also supposed to be open. Uh, don't remember right now what the instructions said, but they certainly needed quite a lot of modification to fit in. So that's the uh, next thing to decide. Mm -hmm.